Hey everyone, Josh here with Online ADA, bringing you another video from the WCAG Accessibility Guidelines. Today we're covering 1.4.12. This is text spacing, which is a level AA requirement. Let's jump in. In content implemented using markup languages that support the following text style properties, no loss of content or functionality occurs by setting all of the following and changing no other style property. These styles are line height or line spacing to at least 1.5 times the current font size, spacing following paragraphs to at least two times the font size, letter spacing tracking to at least 0.12 times the font size. This is a little raw, bear with me, we're almost done. Word spacing to at least 0.16 times the font size. This is one of those articles you're probably going to want to go look up and get these particular numbers again. Uh, have them handy and make sure that you're testing your website with these changes. Uh, this essentially means that whenever your default body font size and line spacing are, you're going to want to test them against increasing them by 1.5 times the font size uh, and see if any of your text overlaps uh, or becomes unreadable by having overlap. When you have headings that are typically like right next to each other, especially inline, uh, a really good example of this would be if you have a blog page uh, that has like popular blog articles that are sort of in line at the bottom, like let's say the, the three most popular or the three most visited blog articles, their titles, their images, and a read more button. If you increase your font size, they should reflow to go into some uh, other formation that allows them to continue to be read you don't ever want that text to overlap with each other because then that content becomes unreadable. Um, this happens a lot on blog articles. I've seen this actually a lot in my audits that I do. Uh, it just is something you have to be aware of and test for before presenting your content to the public. I do want to point out that in this article, in this success criterion, uh, which is something that the WCAG authority provides you for understanding this article further in the documentation, they point out that uh, there are a few pieces of content that are excluded from this rule. Uh, one of those being text that is embedded directly into a video caption. Uh, that is not required to meet this uh, rule. You don't have to have the line spacing change and reflow in those embedded captions. Also, images of text are not required to be uh, modified by these style properties. And it is also important to note that the use of canvas here uh, for HTML is considered to be images of text. That's all there is for this article. I want to encourage you again to go take a look at that documentation for article 1.4.12 and just have those numbers handy for yourself. They're difficult to remember, so uh, keep them by your side when you're developing your content and make sure you're testing for those. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.